Hey everyone, and welcome to another hemp tip. Today, we'll be showing you how to deal with mealybugs on your plants. I typically only talk about bugs I've personally had to deal with in my grows, since after encountering them, I'm able to share my experiences with getting rid of them. However, even though I've never dealt with mealybugs on my hemp plants, I recently had an infestation of them on a fruit tree. So after trying some things to see what works and what doesn't, I can share my experiences. Mealybugs are super weird in that they form into clumps and produce this cotton looking patch. It doesn't look like anything nefarious at all. And at first, I wasn't even sure if this was a mealybug, since I couldn't really see any movement. But it turns out that they're all hiding inside of this patch. And after cutting off a branch to magnify the bugs, I saw some mealybugs trying to crawl away. They're definitely a lot smaller than I thought. And here under magnification, you can see what they look like. Apparently, there's a lot of different varieties of them because I originally thought that all of them would turn out to be white since all the photos I've seen online look like this. But this type is darker in color and you can see the honeydew they produce on the side of the frame. And these dots are what attracts ants to the plant since they'll eat the honeydew. I was able to get rid of all the mealy bugs with a simple spray of alcohol and soap. And this mixture included 10 parts water to one part 70% rubbing alcohol and one part dishwashing soap. Shake it up, give all the infected areas a good spray, and do this every couple of days until everything disappears. You can also use a Spinosad insecticidal spray instead, but I didn't have a chance to test that since the alcohol and soap solution worked so well the first time. I know some people also recommend spraying them off the plant with a hose as a more natural solution, but it looks like they can crawl right back onto the plant, so I'd rather kill them instead. Speaking of getting knocked off, I also mixed in some diatomaceous earth into the ground around the base of the plant to prevent any mealybugs from crawling back up onto the plant again if they do get knocked off. And in general, for all my outdoor grows, I've been using diatomaceous earth on the top layer of soil since it can prevent a lot of pests from reaching the plant while also providing a natural source of silica once it breaks down in the soil. And that's it. Like the content? Then be sure to check out our beginner's guide to creating CBD products from scratch. Available at Amazon in print and digital with links in the description below. You can also find us at hempinapot.com.